the charge which I know is going to outrage members of the Belizean public is a charge which under the law is a bailable offense, meaning that unless there are very good circumstances, a magistrate in the ordinary course of matters would grant an accused person bail for such an offense. The law basically is that the, the, the worst crime a person could be charged with in the eyes of the law is murder, for which there is no bail, and I guess attempt murder cannot be bailed in the magistrate courts for a certain period of months. And in our view, surprisingly, rape, which is one of the worst crimes you can commit, is a bailable offense. Manslaughter is a bailable offense, and manslaughter by negligence and causing death by careless conduct are bailable offenses. Because if I could say it one more time, bail is, nobody's doing you a favor. You are entitled to bail because the Constitution guarantees your freedom. So bail is a right, unless there are some good, strong reasons why you ought not to be granted bail. So in the magistrate court, the magistrate, spe magistrate shop specifically asked the prosecution if they were raising any objections to her granting bail and the prosecution informed the magistrate that they were not objecting to bail. Uh, the charges were read, a single charge of manslaughter by negligence, and the magistrate adjourned the matter until the 30th of September of this year, and she granted bail in the sum of $15,000, and she also imposed four conditions. The corporal cannot leave the country unless he makes a special application for permission to the court. He, of course, is not to interfere with any of the witnesses in the matter. He is to surrender his passport to the courts and he is to report to the Queen Street Police Station every week.